Today we are doing another try on video and I got an idea to do this video probably like two or three months ago when I was on the hunt for like the perfect pair of midsize summer shorts. Because if you are a human in a midsize body like me, you can realize that finding shorts can be really tricky when you gain weight. And something that I've been dealing with a lot personally is like chub rub, chafing, as well as just having a hard time finding like that perfect, you know how you always have that one go-to summer shorts? short. I haven't found that yet this summer and where I live unfortunately it's summer until like November so I've got plenty more time. Hopefully you do too but I'm going to be trying out five different brands. I kind of picked like the five most popular brands on different pricing scales. So in this video I'm going to be showing shorts from Walmart, Target, Old Navy, Madewell, and Good American. These shorts range from anywhere from like $13 to I think $120 so there's something for everyone. In my hopes is to find my perfect summer pair of shorts in this video, so hopefully we will discover that together. Also wanna give a quick shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, but we will talk more about that at the end. In the meantime, I am going to go through this stack of shorts that I have here, and we're gonna find, hopefully, oh my God, please, the perfect midsize summer shorts, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Before I actually get started and like try each of these on individually, here is the stack of shorts I have. I ordered all of these in the equivalent of a US size 14, because that's typically my size. And I also ordered them in the lightest wash they had available in the cutoff version. So I tried to keep them as similar as possible. Oh, and high-waisted. <laughs> obviously. So these are all high-waisted, size 14, cut-off, light wash denim shorts. They're all right here. I have not tried any of them on. I've just taken them out of their packaging, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in and see what happens. Okay, so I've just got some bike shorts on so I can easily take these on and off, but very first, we are going to start with this pair of shorts from Walmart, which this is the Time and True brand. I just have to go on a quick rant for one hot second before I start this try-on. I purchased this online because I don't like going to Walmart. It's kind of a traumatic awful experience every time and when they came in the mail I received this which if you guys are familiar with my forever 21 video and the ranch that I posted in it I guess Walmart now is also gifting people with diet bars in their packages so needless to say however these turn out I will definitely be returning them so uh, we're gonna try these on but like I don't care how it turns out because I'm just not supporting companies that give out unsolicited diet products that is so damaging and so not okay. So, okay. Anyways, rant over. Okay, so these are actually really comfortable. Like, they feel fine. The fit is good. This is definitely my size in that brand. I don't love the, like, mid-rise. I would prefer for the shorts to be somewhere up here. It's just kind of what I like. But, I mean, this shirt is slightly cropped, and it still does look okay. It's just not, like, my favorite thing in the entire world, you know? Material is, like, very stretchy. It's, like, a, you know, super cheap material. But, like, I would wear these if it weren't for the experience. Experience I had just had and also I just prefer more of a high-rise like I'm giving myself a major major camel in the process One of my biggest talents to be honest is trying anything on and somehow giving it a camel toe <laughs> They feel comfortable. They definitely would chafe after a while like they're not long enough to kind of cover that like tender spot where I always chafe so I definitely know that after a while I would chafe in these however It's not like a super rigid rough material like whereas I'm wearing a thrift pair of denim shorts that's that really hard denim it makes the chafing a lot worse because it kind of starts cutting you so this is very very soft pair of shorts I will say I'm trying to be like unbiased in judging these I mean they're not bad it's not the cutest pair of shorts I've ever put on but honestly not bad I'd probably give them like a six and a half out of ten and I forgot to mention when I was showing you these that these were actually $13.92 so the cheapest shorts option available but I'm just gonna have to take off points because of the mid-rise quality I do wish they were just maybe a tiny tiny bit longer. I don't really love this like wash this kind of it looks very cheap to me and Also the fact that they sent me a diet bar so like F you Walmart, you know next we have a pair from Target I was trying to find the universal thread brand because a lot of people have mentioned that one and said that it's a really good Inclusive brand, but they didn't have what I was looking for on the website So I went with the wild fable brand and these were $17 so the next price up on the scale and these are a lot more of a lighter wash and definitely a lot more of like a Daisy Duke type of cutoff. The material does feel equally as cheap. Actually, it feels cheaper than the ones I have on right now. It says high rise on here and I'm gonna be the judge of that. So let's put these on. So, okay. 
<laughs> I feel like I start every try on like that. They're not bad. I had to pull them up really, really high in order for them to be high rise. I love, 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 I will point out the positives. I love this frayed nature at the bottom of them. I wish they were all this frayed, but they are so, 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 so short. Like I genuinely feel like kind of I'm wearing boy short underwear. If I were to wear them at like a comfortable height to where I wouldn't chafe to death in them, it would be like this and that's not high rise at all. It's almost more of like borderline low rise and I'm just not feeling that. I usually love Wild Fable and they usually knock it out of the park, but these are just not it. They can do better than this. I don't know, maybe if you were in a shorter body, I could easily see that working out a lot better. I think maybe just because I'm so tall, like my torso is a lot longer, so it just makes it a lot more difficult, but I could never walk around all day with these shorts. I would be chafing to high heaven. It would be my personal hell. So for me, this is just a no-go. I'm gonna give these like a four out of 10. These are definitely, I was really excited about these and these are definitely a huge disappointment. Not a big fan of these. These are gonna have to go back unfortunately, but maybe someone shorter would enjoy them more. Next, we've got Old Navy. Now, a lot of you guys really love Old Navy jeans. So I thought I would try their high rise with secret slim pockets shorts. And they do have a little bit of like fraying and then like rips and cuts in them. And I like that. And they were $34.99. So definitely more on the expensive side for me anyways. <laughs> brace yourself for what's coming. But they do look nice and high-waisted and it looks like they might be just a slightly bit longer, which I'm kind of looking for, so let's see how it goes. These are nearly perfect and now I feel like I'm going back on my word and what I said because they look really cute. They cover a really great amount. They don't have very deep pockets. They're very, very shallow, but they are high-waisted. They cover my belly button and they're long enough to where I don't really chafe in them, but now I'm like wishing they were shorter. Like I'm wanting to roll them up and have them look like this, but I think that's just because what I'm usually used to in shorts. And I think if I want to be comfortable, I kind of need to get used to having a more long version of a short. I think wearing bike shorts has kind of honestly ruined me because I'm so used to not chafing that like now I'm such a baby when it comes to it. I would obviously pick a different top. I don't really know why I chose to wear this top with a bunch of light denim, but you know, it's we're rolling with it. But these I might have to keep, honestly. I think they're really cute. You guys will have to let me know know what you think, but I might have to hang on to these. I think these are really versatile. They'll go with legit anything. These might be the ones I was looking for. I don't know. I'm gonna have to give these like an eight and a half or a nine out of 10. We're moving on up, but like we're liking them a little bit more. This is the first pair of actual high rise as well. So I'm pretty happy about it. Okay, now we're dipping our toe into the little bit of a more expensive category. And next we have Madewell, which I have just sort of started dabbling into recently. And I got these in a size 32, which is their equivalent of a size 14. These are called the mom jean short. They're a nice high waisted light wash denim, like I guess kind of medium to lightish wash denim. They have some cuts in there. They've got the fraying on the end, which I love. And these were, I think originally like 67 or $69, but I got them on sale on their website for some reason. I don't know how this happened, but they were on sale for like 25 bucks. So even though they are cheaper than the old Navy ones I just tried on, they are typically more expensive. They're typically like $70. So I'm gonna try these on. <laughs> I really hope I don't like them. So many of you guys have mentioned that Madewell is the shit and I need to be witness to that, so let's go. Okay, so these are great. These are actually incredible. I love them. They're like a traditional denim, but just a little bit softer. They feel really good quality and actually the funny part about it is they're actually like a little loose on me up here, which I think has to do with the fact that they're not a stretchy material. This is the first one. I mean, they're slightly stretchy, I guess you could say, but not anything like the other ones. This is like more of an actual denim. They're very high-waisted as you can see, but yeah, it's strange. I feel like I could get away with a 31 in these. Like they're just bigger than I anticipated, which is crazy because all the other ones have fit great. So maybe Madewell runs a little bit big. I don't know because I'm definitely more of a size 14 now, but I could still get away with these and I really like them. They were a really good price and I probably will keep them because they were only 25 bucks, but I will say I have had thrifted pairs of men's jeans that I've cut off myself that have kind of almost looked exactly 
exactly like this. Like there's definitely not anything different about these that I couldn't get in those other thrifted pairs of jeans and you can get those for like seven bucks. So that's something to keep in mind, but these are on sale. So maybe they still will be. I'll have them linked down below like I mentioned, but I don't know. The length is still like a good, it's definitely a bit longer. It's a little rougher between the legs, but I mean, I don't know. I'm feeling confused now, hell. They're very cute shorts. I'll give them like an eight and a half out of 10. I just don't know how often I would pick wearing these over like my thrifted pair of men's denim shorts because they kind of are the same to me, but they're still really cute, so I don't know. We'll see. And last but not least, the moment I have actually been waiting for and dreading this entire time because I'm really scared to like them. Um, the very last pair is from Good American. They are a really awesome, inclusive brand created in part by Khloe Kardashian. And I got just their Good American, I think these are called, these are called the Bombshell Short. And these ring in <laughs> for a hefty, hefty price of $119. Pardon? Now, if you guys remember when I filmed my trying on curvy jeans video with Sierra, we tried on a pair of Good American jeans, and I have to say they were some of the best jeans I've ever put on my body. I just couldn't justify the price point, so I am nervous about this. But they do feel really good quality. They feel a stretchy material. They're definitely meant to like hug your curves. They've got the same kind of like cut off in the front, and they do look nice and high waisted. I again, for the last time, got these in a size 14 or a size 30. Same thing. Okay, I've put it off long enough. Let's do this. Oh boy. Oh boy. <sighs> These are perfect. <laughs> This is a really good pair of shorts. Pockets are really, really shallow, which I guess if, I don't I don't know why I'm mentioning that. It's just something that sometimes people look for. I don't know, maybe you have a really big chapstick you need to put in there. But these are really comfortable, really cute. My only thing is these, more than any of the others that I've tried on, smell like vinegar. Like the dye is a very strong smell. None of the other ones smell like this, which is kind of crazy because these are the most expensive pair by a long shot. Like I'm putting my hands in the pockets, and then smelling my hands. Oh my God, that reminds me of Superstar. Sometimes when I get nervous, I stick my fingers under my arms and I smell like that. And I can smell it on my hands very strongly. So that's definitely something to keep in mind, but these are pretty great. Dare I say I get it? They're nice and high-waisted. They're not too short in between the legs. I feel like I'd be very comfortable wearing these for a long period of time, maybe with an added benefit of like a chafing product or whatever, but they're really stretchy and they do have like the button up waist, but it's hidden. So you only see the top one here, which I prefer the look of. The fit is great. Like they just feel very comfortable. I just don't know if I could spend $125 on a pair of shorts and just Justify it. <gasps> I had a feeling I was gonna like these, but now I'm like, are they actually worth it? Like, could there be, I don't know, like the Old Navy ones were really good. I, I'm gonna have to like really sit and think on this one. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, I already bought them. It's great, but I just don't know if I can justify it. Like, I'm just not that bitch, you know, that can spend that much and be okay with it and like sleep at night. Like, this is my groceries for a week. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> to be continued, I guess, but I would have to give these like a nine and a half out of 10. They're pretty dang good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, if you're interested in any of these shorts, I will have all of them linked down below for you. Let me know in the comments what your favorite one was. I don't know. I'm still feeling so conflicted and I kind of love so many, so help. And as I mentioned at the beginning, this video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. In case you didn't know, Squarespace gives people a beautiful and powerful online platform from which to create your website. Squarespace allows you to link your various social media accounts to your website Website so you can post simultaneously to all accounts. You can choose from tons of designer and award-winning templates. These are created with modern browsers and mobile apps in mind, making their templates modern as well as beautiful. Management of your blog and its contents has never been easier as Squarespace allows you to do this on the go using their mobile app. Make sure you go to squarespace.com slash Carrie Dayton to get a free trial as well as 10% off your first purchase. Get some money off on me. You're welcome. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one.